Some sources depict the classic reunion of twin souls as orchestrated by the universe, ensuring their union. However, reality often diverges from this ideal, and one of the most agonizing choices we confront is whether to dissolve our marriage to be with our twin souls. Various counsel exists on this matter, with one prevalent suggestion being to maintain the marriage while engaging in a relationship with the twin soul with the spouse's consent. Yet, we find this option unappealing, as it seems unfair to all parties involved. Given that the twin soul connection is spiritual and typically arises among among the spiritually attuned, it should be managed with as much harmony as possible. While challenging, it's crucial not to taint the twin soul relationship with animosity toward one's former spouse. Consequently, we believe divorce is the most suitable course, especially if children aren't part of the equation. From our perspective, marriage isn't a genuine bond but rather a contractual agreement. Upholding vows in a marriage where love has waned merely honors the commitment, not the partner. Seeking divine guidance, we inquired whether God blesses marriages. According to the response received, marriages between non-twin souls aren't endorsed by God's standards, as they go against the natural order. While premarital relations or having children outside of wedlock aren't condemned, Marrying someone who isn't one's twin soul signifies a pact that compromises authentic love recognized by individuals who acknowledge the challenges in sustaining it. Exceptions exist, notably in marriages founded on deep friendship and mutual respect, which serve a purpose. Ideally serving as the only grounds for bearing children alongside twin soul relationships, although sometimes our souls opt for different paths. This partnership transcends the bounds of a marital contract, suggesting it's not an imposition that binds together individuals destined to part ways. The underlying message is clear. One shouldn't feel obligated to remain in a marriage nor tirelessly labor to sustain it, though exceptions exist. Twin soul relationships, at times tumultuous, demand diligent effort to overcome challenges, because the thought of separation is inconceivable. However, it's important to acknowledge that marriage isn't merely a piece of paper, it entails a lifelong commitment encompassing love, intimacy, and financial support. Viewing it from this perspective underscores the distinction between a twin soul relationship deemed the most sacred union and marriage, a human-made contractual agreement. Considerations for children further complicate matters, prompting reflection on the lessons imparted about love. While there are valid reasons for marrying, it's prudent to approach matrimony with caution. Opting for bachelorhood may indeed have its merits. Marriage should only be pursued if the prospect of not doing so is inconceivable, yet hindsight may reveal misjudgments, signaling a part of the maturation process involves acknowledging and rectifying mistakes. In contemplating the nature of marriage versus twin soul relationships, it becomes evident that societal constructs often overshadow the intrinsic connection between individuals. Marriage, as an institution, serves various purposes within society, from legal and financial stability to cultural and religious significance. However, the essence of genuine love and spiritual harmony transcends these constructs, finding their true expression in the unique bond shared between twin souls. While marriage provides a framework for societal expectations and obligations, twin soul relationships operate on a deeper, soulful level, defying conventional norms and boundaries. The decision to dissolve a marriage in favor of pursuing a twin soul connection is not taken lightly, as it involves navigating complex emotions, societal pressures, and personal beliefs. It requires courage to confront societal norms and expectations, especially when they conflict with one's innermost desires and spiritual journey. Yet, honoring one's true self and following the path of spiritual fulfillment often necessitates making difficult choices, even if they defy conventional wisdom or societal norms. Moreover, the concept of marriage as a lifelong commitment is deeply ingrained in many cultures and religions 
religions, often accompanied by vows of fidelity and devotion. However, the reality of human relationships is far more nuanced and complex, with individuals evolving and changing over time. What may have once been a harmonious union can evolve into a source of discord and unhappiness. In such cases, the decision to part ways and pursue a twin soul connection may be viewed as a necessary step toward personal growth and fulfillment. Ultimately, the comparison between marriage and twin soul relationships underscores the multifaceted nature of human connections and the quest for spiritual fulfillment. While marriage serves important societal functions and provides a framework for companionship and support, twin soul relationships offer a deeper, more profound connection that resonates at the level of the soul. Each individual must navigate their journey, weighing societal expectations against personal desires and spiritual aspirations, in pursuit of a life that is authentically their own. In closing, the journey of love and spiritual connection is as diverse and varied as the individuals who embark upon it. Whether one chooses to honor the commitments of marriage or pursue the profound bond of a twin soul relationship, the key lies in authenticity and alignment with one's inner truth. Society may impose norms and expectations, but ultimately, it is the individual's path to navigate. By embracing the complexities of human relationships and remaining true to oneself, one can find fulfillment and purpose in whichever path they choose. In the end, it is the depth of love, understanding, and spiritual connection that truly enriches the human experience, transcending earthly contracts and societal conventions. Thank <laughs> you.